what's going on guys welcome back to the channel so I have a problem the power switch the thing that I use to start the computer has ripped off there's the cables to it uh, the switch I don't know it's gone it's missing whatever but I do have a new style of power switch this one right here is a metal switch and when you hit it it lights up blue so I want to install that today so I was thinking where can I mount it so I was looking at this empty USB port that's where I'm gonna put it and enable for that to help me get a nice perfectly sized hole in there I'm actually going to use two tools the first one is called a reamer this is used to make holes or to get holes started and then the next tool that I'm going to use is a stepper bit. This will get my hole perfectly shaped, perfectly round, and I can go as deep as I need to to get the hole as wide as I possibly can. As you can see, I already got the GPU pulled out of it. I'm going to go ahead and get the, the power switch wired up, and then we'll run it through the back, and then we'll make our hole, get it mounted, turn it on, and see what happens. Make sure to leave me a like, guys. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe because we could always use new subscribers like yourself. Consider subscribing. Check out the rest of our videos. And without further ado, let's get started. All right, let's open the power switch. Get rid of the bag. Nice. Oh, it has a nice, satisfying click. I guess what I should do first alright so the first thing we're going to do is actually thread it through the hole I just want to see sorry I just want to see how off I am well really not that much off alright Let's uh, let's make us a medium sized hole and then we'll see if it fits and I guess we'll just go from there and then just keep going. So I want it about right there. Just stick it in there and turn it. And with a couple of turns sorry about the lighting see how it's already starting to make a hole there that's exactly what we want a nice little hole this tool is only about six bucks so that's not too bad all right let's try it again Get it through, pull it, oh, oh, oh. we are getting so close, man it is getting very close, I may not need the stepper bit for this at all, just got to keep rounding it out, like that. Okay, start to get a nice circle in there. All right, which way? Okay, so that's going to fit. All right, so now what I need is I need to thread this back through with the bolt on the inside. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. You can see I have the power switch now mounted and it's nice and flush. See it actually looks good. Now I need to wire it through and wire it up. Alrighty so what I did is I ran the cable down through the front which you won't see because we will need to mount the cover back on it. Possibly. 
right, so what we'll need to do, because you won't see those cables, is mount the front cover back on like that. And then what we'll do is we'll push them to the back there. Okay, that's in there. Let's put the GPU back in. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold on. So, sorry to interrupt the video, but these awesome items just arrived and I'm ecstatic about it. Get out of my way, dog. So, our new Fantex vertical GPU bracket for the 10th gen monster has arrived. Our new bracket. And then I wanted a external portable backup. Basically, uh, my cell phone is a Type C. This hard drive is a Type C. Therefore, when I want to transfer photos back and forth, I can just take this, plug it into my phone, take it out of my phone, plug it right into my system. Also, I will leave this in the system because I like to store a lot of photos and pictures of certain things, videos and stuff, of video clips, just all kinds of little stuff. And I want a way to store them but not eat up the storage on the system so I got this it's a USB 3.1 type C gen 1 flash drive 128 gigabyte by PNY and then over here this is really cool this is our new cathode system what this will do is this will go under the computer to give it a nice glow, kind of like how, how I have it on the Gamma build. Yeah, same thing, just like that, uh, except for these will be blue, and it really adds a color. I mean, it really adds a look to the, to the, to the case, I mean, it just... It looks awesome, just like how you just saw it on the uh, <clears throat> on the Gamma build. That green glow underneath it really adds the look to it. But this one's going to be blue. And then here is our new 360 radiator. Brand new radiator that we're going to use because I had to replace the other one because it was full of gunk. So here's our new radiator. But anyway, I just wanted to show you guys that. Um, four new things came in for the build, and these are it. So, all right, back to the video. So I figured I would plug them in for you guys and show them to you. See that? That's going to look great up underneath that frame, like that. Yeah, that's going to look good. I like it. So we got it hooked up. There's our power switch right there and let's see if it works ready three two one whoops let's redo that okay so there's our power switch it's all plugged in looking nice let's get a nice zoom in on that there you go looking good looking good alright so let's press the button see what happens three two one Oh, and it works. Look at that. See what I'm saying? How that blue light comes on like that? Oh, that looks awesome. I just got to figure out what to do with that. That's okay. I can probably darken that and you won't even see it. But it looks good. Now I have a new power button. Let's turn the light off. Now I have a new power button. Man, that looks way better. Hold on, let the camera focus. It's trying. See that? And I got the same power switch, but the bigger model for the other computer. And I've already got that wired into the case. So there you have it. My new power switch. I hope you guys like it. Please subscribe. Leave me a like. And thank you for watching. See y'all later. Leave a comment. Make sure to turn that hand blue with that like because that really helps the algorithm out and it really helps me out. So, thank you.